Now here's where it starts getting fun. First I'm going to loop the entire thing by dragging up here. And you can see I dragged exactly from bar 2 to bar 3. And then I'll press the loop button. And now when I play back, it just loops. And it sounds exactly the same as when it was not sliced up. But now I can grab all these pieces and start moving them around. So first of all, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And I'm doing this by holding down the shift key and turning the mouse wheel. Let's say I want to do uh, four sixteenth note kicks at the beginning. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this because otherwise they're going to overlap funny. And I can hold down the Alt key and drag and do it again and do it again. Now I have four of them. You can see it's trying to crossfade. So for now, let's just move this guy down here and make sure this track is muted. And now I've got four kicks. And let's make this two bars. We can drag this loop and point over to here. And it'll do this now. Let's move this kick over here to the first beat of the second bar. I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to grab and I'm going to drag it. And since I'm not going to have this be a 16th note, I can open it up a little bit more. Let's Alt drag another one. There we go. And another one. And let's drag our snare over there too. That ain't right. There we go. And now, we have pretty much have kicks and snares, but we still have these two hi-hats over here. So let's take these guys. Select these and drag them down. And I'm going to put these on the second audio track, and that way, I can independently control these. I can put different effects on them if I want. And most importantly, I can have them hit in the exact same place without stacking things on top of each other and making a big mess. So I actually don't even need these anymore, so I'm going to get rid of those. Mute this for now. Because I want these on the offbeat. A little easier here. Let me turn them up. And I can highlight them both and copy them. Same thing, I can highlight all of these. Okay, now I've got them on the off beats. And they're not interfering with anything up here. Let's unmute the kick and snare. Make it a little louder. And hey, let's go really crazy. Let's do some effects just on the high notes. Click the effects button. Select an effect. I'm going to choose distortion. And pretty loud. Uh, take some of the low end out of there. There we go. Lows and mids down. Crank the highs a little. Turn the channel down a little bit more. I can pan them a little bit if I want. And it's still a little loud. We'll turn it down a little. And we can again close the mixer window over here.